Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create alcohol specimens. Alcohol specimens are insects or arachnids, bugs, and alcohol, like this black widow. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to preserve arachnids. Now, when you preserve insects, you can either put them in a vial like this, filled with alcohol to preserve them, or you could pin them with these insect pins. And, and then you like put them all the way to like right here, and then underneath them you put two little labels saying who caught them, where they were caught, when they were caught, what are they, what family are they in, what, what their scientific name is, what their common name is, what order they're in, all sorts of entomology stuff. Now, with arachnids, that's a whole different thing. It's not entomology. Entomology is insects. I can't remember what arachnids was, so... I don't know. But with arachnids, you can like spread their legs out with pins, you can frame them, but you can't pin them because they have really soft exoskeletons, which would probably not be good for the specimen. And they are really soft, which will make them dry out really easily, and no one really wants that, do they? So the bug I'm gonna be preserving in an alcohol specimen is in the freezer right now. Let me take it out. Right here. This is a black widow, a male. Males look very different from females. Males are not black. They're more of a brown, whitish color. And they have like stripes. You'll see once I open this up. So I got this block of styrofoam here, a couple of insect pins. I'm not gonna be pinning it, like I said, but I'm gonna be spreading out its legs a bit so it looks better. Spun a spider web in here and I'm trying to get it out. Black widow males are smaller than females, which is why the females have no problem eating them after mating. There. Now it's out. spread out these legs a bit there I'm trying to get it into a, this a position similar than to the one I did with the female black widow which is probably not gonna be easy <laughs> I'm afraid to say there I think I got one more leg then I'm finally done with this part There. This is what a male black widow looks like. Completely different from what you would imagine. And it is pretty small. So I don't want it to completely dry out. So I'm gonna keep it here for probably 20 minutes, something like that. I'm gonna put this over top so no other insects try to eat it because I, I wanna keep it nice. So Okay, so I got the black widow here. So I'm going to remove each pin. It should be sort of held in place at least a bit, like enough that it's that it works. Okay, let me set this aside for a bit. Okay, so here's what you're going to need for an alcohol specimen. A vial any vial works as long as the bug fits in it. Then you're gonna need 70% rubbing alcohol. What you're gonna do, you're gonna get the vial, open it up, and you're gonna get the bug, and you're just gonna put it inside. Boom. 
That was easy since this one isn't that big. So then you get your rubbing alcohol and you sort of just pour it in like that. It's the perfect amount, no spills. That is really strong. And then boom, you got yourself an alcohol specimen. And there it is, the Black Widow male. A uh, major difference between female and male. But um, yeah, the funny part is I caught them both in the same spot. Black Widows have kind of a bad reputation that they don't really deserve. If you see one, it's best to just keep your distance because it won't go out of its way to harm you in any way. Unless you try stepping on it or squishing it with your bare hands or something. <laughs> but if you are bitten by a black widow, you should probably go to the hospital because they are very venomous.